G'day, my name's Stuart Chignall. Welcome to Chestnut Nags Tools from Japan. In the last trip when I was here, I got a whole stack of this rush for thatch and it was a whole trail load and it looked awesome. But when I actually laid it on the shed roof, it didn't go very far. So I've got a couple of ideas of how I'm gonna get more on the trailer this time. But one of the things I learned from the last trip was not to bother with the stuff that's really already dry and kind of folding over. It's like it works if you can get it laid properly, but it's it's a bit of a pain in the butt. It's better to go straight for the good green stuff. Now this time I am gonna get wet. I'm gonna and I'm a bit worried about leeches in this water. Good. It's well and truly buried in there. Look at that. <laughs> I don't want it on. Is it hurting? Sort of. Oh you've got to be kidding. But there is a blood cost that often has to be paid with projects like this. I gotta get them all out. So I'm done. I've run out of string to make the bundles. And also, I think I've, I've cut as much as I should cut here. The owners said that uh, they wanted a, uh, a little bit left. And uh, depending on which owner you talk to, it depends on how much they want left. One owner wants it all gone. A couple of the others said, no, 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 we want some left for the, for the wildlife, which, I think it's a good idea. The ecosystem in here has really been fascinating. It's an incredible collection of spiders and water bugs, but also some things I didn't expect. You see these little black fellas running around? They're a species of ant. And you might not think that that's that fascinating, and it's probably not. You know, ants are well known to be able to get anywhere they want even you know through all this because presumably and i ha they're not their nests aren't here because i haven't found any nests amongst the the rush that i've been cutting but anyway, what the ants are here for are these incredible populations of aphids there's a little parasitic wasp there probably laying lay eggs on these. Now not all the collections of aphids have ants, but a lot of them do. Particularly in those areas that I haven't disturbed. And so that was I thought was fascinating. I haven't heard of aphids being on bulrush before. Uh, I've heard of ants uh, farming aphids before, but yeah, like I said, not on rush. But anyway, now I gotta get all these bundles onto the trailer. It was then that my nemesis arrived, but fortunately I had reinforcements I could call on. Hurry up boys, come on, run, run. The sheep's getting our food. I think, I think he's eating the salt and vinegar chips. The sheep is eating the salt and vinegar chips. Ha! Ah, get out of it. All right, pick the food up and put it in the car, please. Why? So the sheep doesn't eat our food. I thought it was obvious why, like the sheep 
is eating our food. But it, 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 it seems to be the something that kids do is they just ask why as an automatic default. Time to pack up and go home. And something else a lot of kids do is when there's work to be done, they scarper. I know I did it as a kid. Now in the video I just did on the laying of the first lot of thatch, I mentioned that I'd had a source that said you should lay the rush when it was green. And I also mentioned that I had some concern over this because rush shrinks an extraordinary amount. And it turns out that was a legitimate concern because some of the rush shrank so much that the bundles actually fell off the roof. The, they got so loose. So for this trailer load what I did was I stacked it up against the front fence which I'm sure gave the neighbours another reason to think that we're just a little weird. Now this is to allow the rush to dry out so that when I tie it on it's not going to come loose later as it shrinks. Now, I hope you found that useful. Stay tuned because coming up we've got the laying of these thatch that I've harvested once it's dried on the roof. And we're going to start harvesting the reed because if you have been watching these videos for a while, remember the I'm going to be doing half the roof in rush and half the roof in reed, just to sort of trial and see how the two different materials work as, work as thatch. If you want to make sure you don't miss that, make sure you hit the subscribe button and the bell notification and then maybe, maybe YouTube will let you know when I publish stuff. So, catch you guys later, bye bye.